Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So we look pretty rough. <laughs> so today what we have got is going to be a wear test. It is not on a Wednesday but I wanted you to see this. So first of all we are going to play our intro. <laughs> So what I've got is the brand new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. This is supposed to be a full coverage matte finish up to 24 hour wear. I think it might be a little dark for me, but it might be an improvement to always getting it too light. I got it in the color nude. And what we are going to do is give it a good solid 12 hour test. We're clocking our time now. It is 11.42. That means your girl's gonna be up till about midnight <laughs> testing this foundation. So we're just gonna get right into it so we can actually get the product on. I've also got the primer that comes in this new launch. Should work the best with the foundation ideally. If we have any issues, I will try it again later with my trusted and true mystery primer. Uh, it is a clear kind of a silicone feel Reminds me a little bit of Smashbox, not too heavily. Um, we are about to read and see what this primer claims to do. And we are gonna get quite a bit of it on. But this product has a lot of work to do today. We have been traveling, which means in general, I'm stressed, which means that my skin is breaking out. So, we need this foundation to cover up our monsters like that one which has been driving me crazy all week and yeah so this says that um this is basically gonna prep your complexion for super smooth application doesn't say if it's pore filling or anything like that but a girl can dream because that's what i need we're just gonna tap it a little bit to make sure it's all the way in the skin and we are going to take the foundation. It has a pump. <clears throat> Again, I did not pre-pump. We know I always forget. We're going to take about two pumps, see what we can get with that. I have a very dreadful feeling <laughs> this is not going to be my color. We're going to try it. We're going in with our Y6. And we are just going to start buffing it into the skin. You know how that is. Stipple it a little bit to avoid brush marks. The color match is not horribly off. I don't know how it looks to y'all, but in my mirror, it just looks maybe a little bit yellow. Um, I got this for neutral undertones. It was really hard to match because as I'm sure y'all know, if you're looking for information on this, it is not in store anywhere, so you have to get it online. So basically what I did was I looked up the descriptions on my current foundation matches because this is also not on foundation.com. We need another pump. And I compared those descriptions with the descriptions on NYX's website. And honestly, I just hoped for the best. <laughs> Because what else can you do when you can't actually go in and get a match, right? So we ordered this instead of getting super pale undertone, whatever. I went with um, light undertones. So that hopefully we wouldn't have our pasty situation we usually do. Because though it doesn't look like much to most people, for me, this is a tan. <laughs> so I have to get my foundation a tiny bit darker. And yeah, so, so far, the coverage is decent. We're going to judge by this. You can still see it, but it's not as dark. Uh, my redness is mostly gone. We are going to go in with another pump and kind of touch up on our forehead area. Not a full pump, just like a half. <clears throat> We're going to touch up a tiny bit on our forehead. Cause I think that's really red and needs a little extra loving. And we also missed a little bit around 
this t-zone area where I get really red around my nose and such and we are just gonna touch up there get it all together and call this good okay so to look close up and tell y'all how I'm feeling the primer definitely didn't really help my pores just too much. Um, I can definitely still see my skin peeking through. I would not quite call this full coverage. Maybe I should have gone in with a thicker layer or with a beauty blender. But the Y6 is how I apply basically all my foundations. Um, yeah, but it's not bad. It's pretty good coverage. It looks pretty nice of a finish. Okay, so I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer and put this on top of it. I do not own a NYX concealer. NYX is not a brand that I use horribly often. I used to back in the day. Um, I'm sure it has improved a lot, but back when I used NYX, it wasn't just the best and I wasn't blown away, which is why. I haven't really used it in a long time because back when it was my thing um, I found a lot of things that were much better for similar price ranges so I just never really went back to it but we are gonna go ahead buff this all in when I use the brush for concealer I kind of do more stippling motions as opposed to circular because I find that when you do that it moves the foundation around a lot more which shouldn't happen but let's be real it does so stippling motions are much better and then when it comes to my under eyes I almost always use a sponge of some sort to do that because I find that I get a much better uh, precision and better control and goodness I forgot how light this concealer was so we gonna do a lot of blending and try to blend this into the skin a little bit better uh, now that I have a foundation that's a little bit closer to my actual skin color the pasty white concealer is pretty intense so we're just gonna pat that in really well try to get it blended a little nicer and as we put the face together it should look better and better because it should start to kind of blend in. I do want a very dramatic, um, not dramatic, but a very intense kind of contour today. Because your girl wants to look beat today. So we're just blending. Concealer is blended. It is time to set with our Coty Air Spun. We're just going to pour some out. And I haven't really done like a how I do my face makeup in a while. So I take the flat side of my sponge and just pat this on to set my concealer under my eyes. I don't really set it in a whole lot of places besides under my eyes unless I know that I'm gonna be outside a lot, which today that is not currently the plan. Honestly, I don't really know what the plan is, but we're just gonna set our under eyes and while that is setting we're going to take our favorite bronzer of course the butter bronzer we love it we love it i know i'm scattered today guys i'm so like i feel really upbeat this is my first day home in a while so we're going to take this and just do our normal bronzing routine kind of try to contour this face out just a little bit but nothing heavy. I want to go for a natural beat look today, but still a very beat, you know. And just do this like so. Whew. It's probably going to end up a little heavy, but this is also really strange because I'm so used to wearing such a light foundation that even light bronzers do quite a bit and that is not the case today and I have started I know everybody's seen it a lot of beauty gurus do this I've been using this double-ended Luxie brush that I finally got a hold of 
and using this to contour my nose. It actually does work really well. However, it also looks like it is moving all of my foundation off of my nose. So that's fun. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, so now I have no foundation on my nose. We're going to touch that up real quick because that is an issue. That is an issue that happens pretty often. Um, my foundation on my nose tends to not last very long. I don't really know why, but that's just kind of how it goes. So we're going to double up this nose foundation trying to avoid that powder and honestly we're probably just going to avoid the nose contour today but that is all right um so far i don't hate it but y'all this is a uh, not doing me a whole lot of favors at the moment And I know, I hear you comments. I messed up right here because I barely touched the powder. And now I have a weird spot. I know. But it happens. It's all right. We can fix it. So, we've got our contour on. Now, we're going to use this little Aesthetica Jet Setter palette that I got in my Lola box last month. It's got a pretty luminous brush blush in the middle. <laughs> I know I didn't film it. I'm a slacker. It happens. And I got it so late in the month that it almost seemed entirely pointless to film it. So we're just going to put this on. This is definitely not nearly as pigmented as it looked like it would be. So we're like scraping it off to get any on. That's crazy. This looked so pigmented in here, but it is not coming off pigmented at all on my skin. Huh. Might have just figured out that we don't like this. Ugh. Okay. Anyways. Mmm. Hotter. Where are you? Y'all have to excuse. <laughs> my mess here um i just got back from traveling literally all my makeup is still in my makeup case i got back late last night had to work three hours this morning so i haven't unpacked and ooh, flexitarian never lets me down guys if nothing else looks good this highlight will always be blinding I love it. I live for Flexitarian. It's quite literally the best highlight I've ever gotten. Best like less than $10 you'll ever spend on makeup, I swear. Okay, so we have the beat on. We are not going for a super intense look right now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do my eyes real quick. I will come back and show you how I'm gonna look today. And then we're gonna follow me around today and see how this foundation acts because it is hot as crap today. We will be outside a little bit because we gotta drive today. Cause don't we always have to drive? And uh, yeah, I'll check in and let y'all know how it's going. Um, yeah, be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I've got my face on for the day. I know I said natural and then it just kind of happened. But just so you know, for our eyes, we use the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. You will get a tutorial on this later. Right now I'm still kind of playing with it and seeing, you know, what all I can do with it. But we've got the foundation on. We are about to go about our day so far. It looks pretty good. It's definitely got some stuff I'm not a big fan of, but we're just going to go ahead and see how it breaks down throughout the day. If it does, um, see if it holds up at least to where it is right now. We've already set our face. We've got everything on and it is time to go.
Okay guys, so first check in. Um, it is 4.04, so that puts us about four hours and that's a third of the way in. This definitely isn't my color, but it's so hard to like gauge my color because I'm so red all the time. So every color looks a little off, but it's still got a pretty nice finish. It kind of sunk into my lines, but that's no big shocker. My nose is breaking down a little, but we knew that already. Other than that, it still looks pretty good. The coverage is pretty good. That's basically what I got. Uh, also, hope y'all enjoyed that roll of my food today. Oh my God, I know that has nothing to do with foundation, but that food was good though. So uh, we're gonna check in again around eight o'clock and our last check-in will be around midnight. So, yeah, I guess that's what we got for today so far so good on this foundation i like it see y'all in a second okay guys so it is right around eight o'clock that puts us eight hours in we are two thirds of the way done so i have to say at this very moment i'm still pretty impressed okay it's settled in my lines that's fine but compared to what I use every day, like this is performing super on par, probably a little above with what I call my holy grails. It's definitely really good coverage. Still looks pretty good. I'm actually not as oily as I thought I would be. I haven't touched up at all. And like my forehead isn't nearly as shiny as it usually gets. It's a little bit oily through my T-zone this area, but my forehead's still pretty good. Still looking a little airbrush color match is still wrong <laughs> that's me though but yeah i'm definitely really liking this we're gonna see how it looks at midnight but uh making it through this eight hours and still looking this good is definitely enough for me to know i'm gonna be reaching for this all the time <laughs> so i'll see you guys again at midnight okay guys so it is one o'clock in the morning <laughs> I am exhausted. My eyes are a little bit red, but other than my nose and a little bit around my mouth, uh, this is actually looking pretty damn impressive for 13 hours. So I'm gonna have to say, for me, I definitely would recommend this foundation. I have really oily skin, so keep that in mind. It is a matte finish, so if you have dry skin, perhaps it may not be the best option, but I have super oily skin. It did not make me really oily, like I'm a little bit shiny after 13 hours, but not, like I don't look sweaty or anything right now. I have a pretty healthy little glow going. Hasn't broken down just too terribly. And in person, it looks pretty flawless. It's a little, a little iffy on this video, especially my nose, but uh, this stuff looks pretty good and I'm definitely really impressed. I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow, let's be real. So uh, yeah, definitely this new NYX foundation. It's got an incredible shade range. They did all kinds of amazing things and it's only like $12, which is really affordable. And it's a really good sized um, container too. So you get quite a bit of product for your dollars. And yeah will recommend super approved and yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video that is it for today and i should be seeing you on monday bye you guys